Come on, everybody. This is Dave from Post Rock Promo. I'm here with Corduroy from Norrköping, Sweden. How's it going, guys? Hey, man. How you doing? Doing good. Really appreciate you guys coming on. Let's dive right into it. So when and how did you guys form? Ooh, me and Martin have been playing. I'm Oli, by the way. This is Martin uh, to my left. Um, we have been playing together for like, what is it, six years now or something like that. But uh, as the band Corduroy, uh, officially like one, one and a half years or something like that. It kind of sprung out of an old band that we uh, decided to sort of reform and restart. That's awesome. So uh, yeah, that's the very short of it. So you guys released a new album, Corduroy, in June. How's the response been? Yeah, people who actually listened seem to like it. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's uh, it kind of popped out of nowhere, so we didn't really expect that much of a response. But uh, I mean, people who have been talking about it have been saying some really nice things. So we're glad about that. Yeah. So who do you guys record it with and how was the process? Uh, we recorded it ourselves um, in uh, our bass player Seraphim's apartment. Um, just plugged everything into his uh, sound card and just went. We didn't really know how else to do it. So uh, we've always done it that way ourselves before. So um, as of mixing, we turned to a guy called uh, Christian Carlson of uh, PG Lost uh, in his studio and he did uh, smashingly, did a really good job. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if it pops, by the way, this is a sensitive mic. Um, but uh, we didn't really have to look around that much for a guy, for someone to mix it. Um, we just knew he, he was doing that stuff and uh, had some contacts and friends in common and stuff like that. So. Yeah, and he really helped, helped us, like, he shaped the sound for us, and uh, yeah, yeah, like he knew, he knew where we were going, you know, and what, what we wanted, what, he what, under, what kind of sound we wanted. He understood the material. Very cool. PG Loss is a great band. Yeah, yeah, they're great. <laughs> One of my favorite, uh, favorite bands. Cool. So you guys are from uh, Norokopeng? <laughs> How's yep. the uh, the scene there? Do you guys have a favorite local band, a favorite venue? Uh, I uh, <laughs> I was dreading this question. It's uh, it's kind of I mean, for uh, for this town, you can't really look at look at uh, the scene thing uh, as this local, as in in this town. I think you have to zoom out a bit because Sweden is is much smaller, and uh, look at Stockholm and Gothenburg, Malmo, for example. Uh, to really get a good grip of what's going on, because there are people doing similar things, but maybe not in North Shopping. So, uh, Except for yeah, yeah. kind of the same yeah. thing. <laughs> I mean, we're we're branching out. Yeah. Um, but um, no, there's not really a scene. We had the uh, last uh, pub that even has a stage just closed uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, so there's no there's no way where to play. <laughs> yeah, that's the ongoing battle uh, is people who actually are driven to uh, like run these places to have gigs at. Um, there are more way more bands than people who are actually providing a place for these bands to play at. So you really have to get to know everybody, essentially, which is cool, but not as much playing. Is the result, I guess. That's awesome. So who are your biggest influences? Um, I guess, I mean, we go, we don't really do that kind of thing, but I think both Martin and I really are in, big into like Stone Roses and the uh, whole Manchester thing. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, slow that. Slow dive, ride, oh, stuff like classic. that. Yeah, exactly. We're we're no different than anyone anyone else who does this. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a like I I listen to a lot of you know soul and hip hop and all that stuff. So. Uh, oh yeah, I yeah, listen to a lot of death metal as well. But yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, me too. So, about more hardcore, but um, 
but yeah, there's a lot of influences. Uh, I'm just trying to steal a, a baseline from, uh, who is it? Mm. Oh, fuck it, I forgot, from the Jersey Boys. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna steal a baseline from there. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Yeah, that's how we do Things, it. Though. Yeah, we steal everything, yeah. That's... <laughs> yeah, I kind of noticed when I started playing with Martin, I had previously been playing in a bunch of metal bands and stuff like that. Uh, and he was doing more poppy things. Uh, and I noticed I was playing bass back then. But even as I went from bass to guitar, uh, I noticed myself like still having those uh, kind of uh, um, old metal, like muscle memory stuff. Uh, so I kind of maybe I incorporated something like that and we'll let the future decide if I am a big inventor. <laughs> Maybe not, but a boy can dream. <laughs> this is true. So if you guys could tour with one of those bands, which one? Uh, probably Ride for me. I've been listening to them a lot lately. Yeah, but I think they're quite boring. Eh, maybe. I mean, they're older, older dudes. <laughs> uh, maybe they find us a bit too erratic to hang with, maybe. Um, but... Uh, Oh, I think uh, nothing is a pretty cool band. I don't think I'd mind touring with them. And they're a bit on the younger side as well. So maybe that would mesh better. But yeah, I mean, there's there's really too many to say. <laughs> like the tour with Skek Adlan, which is a <laughs> fucking doom metal say, band friend of ours. <laughs> uh, always. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go with Always. From Canada? Yeah. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah, they're great. That's awesome. So now I'm going to ask you guys some non-music questions. It's a good way for me to get to know you. I did this with the other bands I interviewed. Are you ready? Absolutely. All right, first one, favorite TV show? Mm. I watch TV, so. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really liked... This is so generic <laughs> but uh when i was watching the wire that was like the best thing i had seen ever but also uh hannibal with mads mikkelsen uh as hannibal i think he's on par with uh, anthony hopkins hopkins with which might be heresy but uh i'm willing to risk my neck <laughs> uh, i'm still I'm a sucker for how many matters still, so that's uh, that's how long it's been since I watched two of you. <laughs> yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, you have you're pretty bad taste, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know. So if you guys were stranded on a desert island with three items, would you want to have with you? Hmm. Here. Yeah. Speed. This and yeah, maybe that. Uh, and um, some food. Eh, that'll run out. <laughs> uh, seeds. So I can plant. Yeah, let's start our own commune. <laughs> we'll bring seeds. We got water. It's an island after all. Uh, so yeah, maybe a Bible to tame the the locals with. It's, it's a deserted island, though. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Some seeds and stuff like that, you know, grow our own food, become independent. Yeah, independent. <laughs> we are very, very independent. Very cool. <laughs> if you guys go back in time and talk to one world leader or person of influence, who would it be? Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, you can look at <laughs> some of the things behind us uh, maybe get an idea uh, <laughs> yeah we do have a pretty uh, uh dark sense of humor though so it might not be too good <laughs> um shit i don't know uh, yeah i'd like let's go with um drottning christina <laughs> She's like 1700s. Uh, yeah. The Swedish queen from way back. I don't know. I don't have a good answer. <laughs> that would be sick. <laughs> yeah, it would be sick. <laughs> I'd be up for that. 
yeah, it'll be famine. <laughs> uh, well, like, uh, yeah, Ceausescu. Yeah, cool, Romania. cool. Yeah. He was fucked up. <laughs> mm -hmm. As they all were. <laughs> so if you guys had a million dollars and you could donate to any charity, which one? The Corduroy Record and Album Foundation. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we really, really need it. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know. I mean, you pick one organization, it feels like you leave the others aren't as important. So, uh, I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with us. <laughs> I will donate. <laughs> Thank you. Elon Musk. Yeah. Mycket vill ha mer. In English, I don't know. Yeah, that's our final answer. Okay. <laughs> what was the best vacation you guys have been on? Ooh. I crossed the border to Norway once. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the road signs are really funny <laughs> as compared to ours. Uh, other than that, I guess I would have to say Greece because I haven't been trapped. No, Krakow. Krakow in Poland. That's my number one spot. I have been to three spots, though. You've been traveling more. Mm, yeah, not too much. Uh, he goes to London every time, so I London. guess it would be London. Uh, I think Latvia uh, was there with a friend of mine. Uh, a friend of mine who lives uh, who lives in Northampton in England, uh, but he's from Latvia, so we went to his hometown for a week. Uh, everything just got fucked up. We went to this festival and. We were awake for three days and yeah, you have a hallucinating and shit because <laughs> I didn't sleep. <laughs> yeah, you also have a fascination with old, uh, like Soviet Union aesthetics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I guess Latvia is a pretty good place for that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> everything is gray. Yeah, yeah, it was really great. Like this, and like the this... apartment buildings <laughs> don't, yeah, don't have walls, it's just apartments out yeah. into the world. And there was this guy on. In the, his hometown was Ogre. Uh, it's just outside of Riga. And this guy comes up to us like with a you know like this old cassette freestyle, <laughs> um, asking us like you you want to listen to Iron Maiden? Have you heard Iron Maiden? <laughs> <laughs> Have you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think he was just like you know delusional. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was just white noise. Yeah. So did you end up listening to Iron Maiden with a guy? No, I hate Iron Maiden. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted all over that. I turned him down. Now, and I was like, no, I fucking hate this shit. Don't you like ding, 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 riff? <laughs> Whatever that song is, every song. Yeah, you could have rocked out with him. Started up a. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bit. I think it was hangovers. I, was, uh, I wasn't like too keen on it. So. <laughs> when in Rome, though. <laughs> do as the uh, Latvians do. When in Latvia, do as the Latvians do. Yeah, exactly. Strange people. <laughs> That's They're all right. That's strange. That's strange. That's it. That's it. Especially, especially like the older ones, like the those have actually seen a war. Yeah, <laughs> they were looking at us like uh, they were, we were. There were four of us from Sweden who uh, went over, and uh, all of us has you know tattoos or all, all over us. And they, the old, like the Soviet people, <laughs> they still uh, consider that, you know, you were a criminal and all that. So, uh, yeah, we got a few. Pretty old straight, fashioned. Yeah. People were wow. really look, like looking at us. And this is just a few years back. And it was just like traveling back in time. Yeah. Like, Western yeah. spice. Yeah. Yeah. It was strange. Very cool. All right, last question. What are some places there that visitors should check out? In Sweden? Uh, where are you guys are at in Sweden? Um, I mean, come to North Shopping, start a pub, maybe we can play there. Yeah. That'd be cool. Um, oh, I don't do touristy things here. <laughs> I guess just visit the local watering holes. Uh, that seem to be the thing that tourists that live here who actually go places like to do. Leave us the locals, I guess. Um, I met a few people who've done that. They, they seem to like it. 
So I guess just come here and see what happens. It's a small town. So. Yeah, and the socialism is not that dangerous. Much. <laughs> Very cool, guys. Well, I really appreciate you coming on and chatting up a little bit. I really appreciate the support. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. So for the people that are going to watch this later, where can they find you guys at? Spotify, um, Facebook, who for whoever roams there anymore. Instagram, it's called, uh, we're Corduroy in Space on Instagram, at least. Everywhere. Everywhere, okay. Corduroy Ex space, everywhere. Except Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, a, in space is all like, a, what do you call it? <laughs> uh, last name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in space is our last name. Uh, that's confusing enough, right? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I mean, well, if, I, uh, yeah. Let's leave it at that. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys have a, a great night and we'll chat soon. Yeah, I'm going to go right to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, because I fucking quit my job today. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, I still have one though. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Which entails a lot of responsibilities. <laughs> Sounds good. Right. See you guys I later. guess we'll talk later <laughs> sometime. Yep. If we're not too crazy. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Yeah. Goodbye.